So do you have to like study everywhere we go? I have a final, it's an ethics class. It's hard. Well, just copy your ethics off someone else, right? Also, Rebecca, what's up with the knitting? Um, it's crocheting and uh, she is trying to relax. She and Nathaniel are... <sighs> Maybe there's a better mime we can do around someone who survived a suicide attempt. It's fine, yes, Nathaniel and I are done. Okay, clearly I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. Also, he was seeing someone else. That always works out great. Exactly, it did not work out, which is great because now I get some well-deserved me time. Yep, I get some hot Rebecca on Rebecca action. Yeah, I don't need a man. And you know what says that? This soon to be Afghan. <laughs> I like that attitude. You go, girl. Other supportive girl thing. Yeah. You know what, from now on, like <laughs> and that is Bella Lavelle in the CW series Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. She stars as Heather, the once underachieving roommate of the Crazy Ex-Girlfriend in the title. And Bella is here with us now. Welcome. Thanks so much Hi. for waking up early with us. My pleasure. <laughs> okay, so for people who haven't uh, been watching this series, of course, this yeah. is the third season. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about the show besides funny women sitting around a table. Yeah, there's a lot <laughs> of that. <laughs> um, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend is a dark romantic comedy mm -hmm. uh, that's also a musical. Mm -hmm. And um, it starts with uh, the character Rebecca Bunch, played by Rachel Bloom, mm -hmm. um, quitting her high power lawyer job in New York and following her uh, her summer camp boyfriend from high school. Uh -huh. But it's also about pursuing happiness and mm -hmm. mental health and female friendships and mm -hmm. eating mm -hmm. donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and your character has really been evolving. Yes, she's really developed over the last three seasons. Um, she started off as like uh, Rebecca's next door neighbor, kind of a stoner, mm -hmm. underachiever, living at home mm -hmm. with her parents. Mm -hmm. The whole, you know, millennial, like free rent thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she was in community college for eight years. Wow. Um, and she's very much like, like Heather is very over everything before she even hears it. Mm -hmm. And so the writers, Aline Brush McKenna and Rachel Bloom and the whole writer's room have really developed her character and mm -hmm. given her a lot of obstacles and challenges. Mm -hmm. So it's been fun. Yeah, yeah, fun to play a character that is so different from yourself. It's studied yes. at Juilliard <laughs> and a graduate of NYU. Yes, yeah. So like, I always say like Heather's my alter ego. Like mm -hmm. if I if I didn't have a filter, like want to mm -hmm. make people happy, like I would just be like, I would be Heather. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I read somewhere that you once wanted to be a concert pianist. So I did, yeah. Doing the little musical yeah. is gonna be fun for it's, you as well. It's interesting, I'm not really a singer, but because I played piano for mm -hmm. so long, it's mm -hmm. very much come in handy because we're given, it's a musical, mm -hmm. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, so we'll get songs and then we have to record them the next day and then oh, wow. shoot them the next day. So it's all very fast and actually like playing piano has helped a lot, weirdly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you were also on the big screen in a very popular movie, The mm -hmm. Big Sick. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, I you have no idea with indies that they're gonna, if they're gonna have a life at all. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's been, I had no idea it was gonna turn into what it's turned into mm -hmm. and Kumail uh, Nanjiani and Emily B. Gordon were nominated for an Oscar yeah. for best screenplay and it's been incredible to just like be a tiny part of something mm -hmm. that has a life, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get another little project underway, a little web series, uh, yeah. print therapy that you are actually co-writing with yes. one of your best friends, with is that right? One of my best friends, Clea Alsip and I, we um, we wanted to do something after the election mm -hmm. just to kind of process our feelings. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's about two friends with opposing political beliefs who go to therapy to work out their friendship mm -hmm. and like how to move forward mm -hmm. from there. So it's fun, <laughs> it's on Facebook through Chuckler and you can check it out. Yeah, and you got <laughs> something else on the stage, right? Coming yes, up? I'm gonna be performing here in Los Angeles at the Geffen Theater, um, a new play by Josh Joshua Harmon called Significant Other. Okay. Um, yeah, I've never done theater in LA, mm -hmm. so that'll be a fun experience. Yeah, yeah. it should be exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's for certainly a pleasure me. having you. And of course, mm -hmm. you can see Bella and Crazy Ex Girlfriend Fridays at 8 o'clock on the CW, and we will be right back.